Good evening. Now, in earlier presentations, we talked about the concept of communal discernment, what it is, why we're committed to doing it, and what we hope to accomplish. This presentation, I want to talk about our parish theme and calling, which is the product of our communal discernment process. Now, our current discerned calling has two parts. The first part, come, encounter Jesus, calls our parish to become a community of believers who have encountered Jesus in a personal way and then invite others to do the same. Now, this calling is not merely to know more about Jesus. It's a calling about being open to encountering Jesus as a real presence in our lives. The second part of our parish calling invites us to embrace God's kingdom of love, forgiveness, and mercy, and embody these kingdom virtues in everything we do in this parish. Now, this two-part calling is carried forward in our parish community by our parish theme, Hearts on Fire, Come, Encounter Jesus, Embrace His Kingdom. And taken together, our parish theme and calling are the vehicles that the leadership community uses to communicate the results of our discernment work. This articulation of our discerned calling then becomes the focus and the mission of our life together in the parish for the next three years. It is meant to inform all of our formation work from womb to tomb. It is meant to encourage and enhance all of our ministries and committees that engage in Christian service. And it is meant to be reflected in our communal prayer and worship together. Now you might ask, why do we need to go through this discernment process when we already have a parish mission statement? Eh? Now our parish mission statement reads, and I quote, as a worshiping Roman Catholic parish family, we are guided by the collegial partnership of laity, pastor, and ministerial staff. Together we seek to foster spiritual growth through the active practice of Christianity. By the sharing of our God-given talents and resources with all God's people, we strive for peace and justice as the parish with heart. Now this is an excellent mission statement. It lays out many of the principles and the values we want to embody together as a life, uh, in our, our life together as a parish community. That we are guided by collegiality. That we seek to foster spiritual growth. That we're committed to sharing our time, our talents, and resources with others. And it does a very good job of describing how we are a parish community. But it really doesn't say much about who we are as a parish community. This mission statement, like most parish mission statements, articulates our parish's vision for doing church better. I mean, this is basically our recipe. This is our secret ingredient recipe for how we do church real well here at St. Margaret Mary. On the other hand, our discerned calling represents our efforts to better understand what God is calling us to do and to be at this time, in this place, on our journey. Our discerned calling does not replace our mission statement, but it does put flesh and muscle on that mission statement. Mission statements are meant to last for a long time. Our discerned calling is meant to guide us in the particular circumstances that we find ourselves. So, how does our discerned calling relate to the leadership from our Pope or from our Bishop? When our Bishop or the Pope, under the guidance of the Holy Spirit, articulate a calling for our diocese or for the universal church, this becomes a very important sign of the times that our leadership community takes into consideration as we discern our parish calling. So, for instance, our current parish calling, inviting us to a personal encounter with Jesus that we share with others, was not only discerned in response to what we heard from our parishioners and understanding what our parishioners' world was like, 
It also reflects our Pope and our bishops' call to a renewed commitment to evangelization. And when Pope Francis declared the Year of Mercy in 2015, our leadership community studied that declaration and made sure to include it in the second part of our parish calling, embrace God's kingdom of love, forgiveness, and mercy. So a proper reading of the signs of the times will always include apostolic exhortations and pastoral statements by our church leaders. But our parish calling will always be particular, which means unique to our circumstances, and it will always be provisional, which means that it's in response to what is currently happening in our world. Now, I wanna close this presentation with just a few words about who has the job of doing this communal discernment in our parish, and how do they get input from the parishioners in order to do this work? Our parish leadership community is tasked with doing our discernment work in this parish. And the leadership community it consists of members of the parish council, our pastoral staff, and our pastor, Father Paul. Now, after doing this work for five years, our leadership community is exploring ways to widen this circle of discernment to include more parishioners. We want the, this circle of discernment to get bigger with more people. So for instance, this past year, we invited all the members of all the different adult formation uh, committees to join us in doing this discernment work. And this current round that we're doing right now of communal discernment includes more and more opportunities for parishioners to know what we're doing on the leadership community and give their input on this discernment process on every step of the way. So why do we have a parish theme and calling? We have a theme and calling in order to communicate our discerned calling from God to our parish community. We have a parish theme and calling in order to encourage our parishioners to embrace it. And we have a theme and calling to assist all of our parish committees and ministries in their efforts to embody this calling in all that they do. <laughs>